adding pauses to your audio makes it more consumable and also adds a very natural flow overall. So, let's look at the different ways in which we can add pauses. The first method to add a natural pause is to add a comma or a period. Commas and periods will add a subtle, yet a very natural pause to your audio. This should be your go-to method for adding natural pauses. The second method to add a natural pause is to add three periods. This will also add quite a natural pause to your audio. But you'll notice this sounds slightly different from the first method. This sounds like the sentence has ended. The third method to add a natural pause is to break your sentences into separate paragraphs. Although you'll notice that the pauses are not as natural as they were in the previous methods, this method gives each paragraph a unique flow of its own. The fourth method is to add a variable pause. This method allows you to manually set the duration of the pauses. You can do this by highlighting a word, clicking the pause option, and selecting the duration from the drop down. The pause will be added right after the word you highlighted. Another thing to keep in mind is your pause settings. You can access them by clicking the pauses drop down. Here, you can define global values for your pauses, all in one place. Yes, that's how simple it is. Go ahead and try it out.